All right, what's going on? Uh, I'm going to try to do a harvest video. I'm a little reluctant to get the turnips or turnip greens. And one of the main reasons I didn't show it yesterday on my garden update is we got a turnip in there coming. And there's another one over here. So I'm a little reluctant to get the turnips, but I am going to get the mustard greens. I already got my bowl. So now I just need to move down so I can get set up to get the mustard. Try to put a put the uh, bowl in a good place. And you can see how big the greens really are. And hopefully they're tender enough, I can just go ahead and just snap them right off with my fingers. Instead of getting some snips. Oh yeah, they're tender. And uh, I'm going to try to keep this short because it's forecast to rain on me in about a couple of hours. So this might take a little time. And uh, for those, like I said, don't know anything about cut and come again, you see these small mustard greens. I get the big leaves and I leave the little leaves to grow. And that'll give me multiple pickings out of the mustard greens. Probably till, I would say, sometime in the early year parts of summer until they start bolting and by then I need to go ahead and uh, wait till the fall and actually plant another crop so and I'm gonna wait on the turnips because of the fact that the turnips tend to be grown turnips so I'm not gonna harvest the greens out of them yet but uh as you can see, all of the mustard greens turned out okay. Pretty soon the beets will probably get harvest. You see how they really, really filling in the buckets. But uh, the mustard greens is the main focus right now. And uh, it looked like I got... A lot more work to do because I didn't think it was going to grow this big. And these seeds I actually had ever since 2007. So these seeds were 13 years old. And these 13 year old seeds actually did all this. And I didn't even keep them in my refrigerator. I kept them pretty much in a uh, in a dry place. I still got a lot of work to do, and I, and doing this one-handed is quite the job. And I don't want to make this video any longer than what it has to be. But you pretty much get the gist of it all. Whoops. So. This is just some of what I have to do. You can tell the difference between the mustard and the turnips. I don't know if there's any more turnips in here or not. I mean, I would have to really look through there. But uh, you can see that this box that I had beets in last year actually turned out to be more productive than I thought it would be. But uh, it just basically gave me more of a inspiration to build more planter boxes to where I can actually plant a variety of things in them. Not just beets, turnips, and mustard. So I think I'm going to go with that. So... As you can see, this is the result. Oh, this is Mac, and I'm out.